Yeah. Our book is Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany Jackson and it's a fiction book. So this is the storyline for Monday's Not Coming and the exposition is we meet the character Claudia who actually is the narrator in the story and we learn about her and her best friend Monday and they have all these plans to like do things together like go to the same high school and stuff um and then Claudia realizes that Monday has not showed up for the first day of school and she like always does so she gets really worried and she starts making it a priority in her life to try and find out where her best friend went um and then the climax I don't want to spoil anything but they find out what happens to Monday um and Claudia has a rough time accepting that and sometimes she has episodes where she forgets what happens which creates conflict in throughout the story um, and the resolution is that Claudia finally remembers what happens to Monday and she comes to accept that and learns to cope with her grief in the end I feel like the most important static characters in Monday's Not Coming is um, one, Michael. He doesn't really change throughout the story, but he remains supportive of Claudia throughout the whole book. And another char static character is uh, Claudia's mom. And she's very supportive of her because she takes on the role of her mom, but she doesn't have any minor changes to her life or to her character in general. So after Monday goes missing, Claudia is really focused on finding her and investigates a lot and is always thinking about what would Monday do in certain situations. But after she kind of finds out what happens to Monday and she kind of, it's kind of been a while, then she starts to experience stuff on her own and learns kind of who she is without, like living without Monday. Some examples of figurative language in Monday's Not Coming is on page 112, it says, Monday stood shivering with a dizzy smile. Another one on the same page says, What are you doing here? I shouted under my breath. Um, and the last one on page 113 says, She jumped covering my mouth with her icy hand. One of the themes spreading throughout the book is raising awareness for people who may be struggling with mental health and how they should receive help. Claudia is very mentally damaged after her friend's death, so much so that she has moments where she forgets that, she, that her friend even died. Another theme that is also spread throughout the book is the fact that people of color don't get the proper amount of attention when they go missing. The sheriff didn't seem concerned about the fact that Monday was missing and didn't put effort, much effort into trying to find Monday after Claudia's concerns. Yeah. She shoved the door closed and turned on the light. Now I saw why Miss Trollums always opened the door halfway. Right behind it, against the wall, was a large freezer chest. The kind you find at grocery stores holding frozen turkeys and pre-cooked hams. It buzzed like a broken fluorescent light. And even though we were on a floor, other floor, I could still hear the freezer humming from downstairs, as if it sat right next to us.